All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be showing you a new build we'll be working on for the channel. This is Corey's and he's here to show you a little bit more about it and what he's wanting to do. What um, is this? What year is this? It's nothing special. It's a 1985 Toyota Extra Cab. Uh, it's got a 22R in it. Uh, it's, it's been in my collection for a while. It's always been a truck that I wanted to build. Um, just now getting around to it. Some of the parts that I do want to put in it. We want to throw some Chevy 63s in the back. Sh uh, do a shackle flip kit. Um, I need to do some driveline work and uh, get the rusty old 22R that's inside right now. She's in for this winter. She's got all the horsepower. Yeah, a whole of 85 horsepower. So basically what you're wanting to do with this is get it all ready for snow wheeling, the way it sits, and have something we can take out. Yeah, we want to get it running so we can play in the snow this winter, and then I'm looking at engine swap. And probably... What, what's your two top engine swaps that you're looking at? Well, I do have an LS sitting in the shop right now. Which is this guy. It's, yeah. uh, we don't know anything much about it. It's a junkyard bot, six liter, and be a fun one. It's all the junkyard. It also, would be sweet. This would be yeah. an awesome engine in there. And then you got, what's the other one you got? I ha also have a 2000 Bravado, which is an Oldsmobile, I guess, 10 Blazer type thing with a 4.3 in there, which I have the whole vehicle. It makes it kind of hard because I'll have a harness and everything to use to swap in that. Um, that is the know. nice part about having the Bravado is he's got everything in the vehicle. It's a running and driving vehicle, so for the swap, we have everything that we need to tear it out and put it in the Toyota. So. I don't know how people feel That'd about nice. GM and Toyota, but... Drop a comment down below if you want to see the LS or if you want to see the 4.3. Everyone's probably going to say the LS because that's just how today goes, but... I don't know, the 4.3 would be sweet and it is all there. Or everybody's going to tell me to put a 3.4 in it, but, you know, I just, it's all money to them. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll add that option. Who knows? We could find one, I guess. For right now, I guess the, the LS that you got here and then... Well, for all of, all of you guys that are super specific, this is a Vortex 6 liter. It's not an aluminum block, it's an iron block, but either way, we got one right here, and then we have the 4.3, so those are a couple good engine options. What's your game plan for transmission transfer case? Um, well, if I went around with the 4.3, I was thinking about just keeping the Toyota transmission. Um, if I wanted to go something bigger, like with the LS or not, probably looking at an auto. Like, Do like a 4L80E? Yeah, 4L80E or 60, depends on if we're going to put tons under it or not. I don't, I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm undecided. So. Are you wanting to keep these axles under it for now, just to get it all um, ready for winter? Yeah, I was thinking about building up Toyota axles, just because they're super simple to work on. Uh, the burr fields are pretty strong if you keep the horsepower numbers, and they're just reliable. And I think it'll be a little bit quicker to get it going. Since snow is right around the corner, we can get these going. Yeah. Get them all up to date and replace any seals or bearings we need to. Yeah, pretty much. It doesn't need much. It's not pretty, but it runs. I know you've talked a lot about uh, doing one tons on this, or talked a little bit about it. You think yeah. you might want to do that later down the road? Um, yeah, eventually. I think maybe that's a big picture. Bigger, probably 40s, maybe. Definitely 40s. I'm torn between a, to try to daily it or just full-on send build. Well, you already got some parts for this, so... I think probably a good game plan to put those on, run it how it is, and see what you think of it, if you want to go bigger later, or that type of deal. It'll be nice since you have a lot of the parts, and snow's right around the corner. We can do that for now, and see how it does. Yeah, we can just do the front axle and get some seals replaced, get some driveline work done, and put our springs on the rear, and uh, get it all wrapped up, ready to go out and play in the snow. Yeah, and then potentially add dual cases down the road. That would be sweet. Yeah. I think that would be awesome i love having mine in the tacoma so i think you'd be happy with it in this but it's a good start it's not bad you like it you, I do. you excited to start building time. it i've just been keeping it around and trying to get it built how's the interior look it's not horrible it's uh, a little dirty <laughs> a little dirty we'll ignore all that trash it needs cleaned up you haven't had this too long so seats are in decent yeah. shape and i got a race car tack already so Ooh, it'll definitely go the fast hours. i mean we're hitting 5,000 rpms out there yeah and, and this is exactly how you bought it right yeah i mean you haven't done anything to it 
No, I just basically put a transmission in it to get it to run and then to drive. And then it's, I just had it sitting around for a while. Other than that, yeah, I bought it this way. Let's check out that engine. Oh, yeah. And this has the 20R or the 22R? This has a 22R in it. Ooh. All of the horsepower. Hey, at least those things run a long time. Oh, Even yeah. if they're knocking, they're, they're usually good. <laughs> uh, the I think you're missing something there. Where's yeah. your uh, carburetor? I, I gotta buy one. What'd you do? Rob this one off of here for your other Toyota? Yeah, my little Toyota. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> so probably just run this engine for this winter and yeah, keep it simple. Yeah, I think we just simple. get it running and grenade this just so we have to engine swap it this next year. That'd be a good video, blowing up your Toyota. If we can, it's a twenty, it's a twenty-two R. They're hard to, they're hard to blow up, as long as there's oil in it. Well, at least using this engine, it'll be a little bit easier getting it going. We don't have a lot of time, so that'll work good. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's got all the fixes like your custom fuse box. So let's cover that up in there. It needs some work. You haven't had any time to work on this at all since you've bought it, so you haven't done anything to it that you would like. Looks like it's got the classic timing cover leak. It has there. AC. The AC works good. It does. has factory AC that works. Blows ice cold. I'm going to be really sad when I tear that apart. Well, at least when it was running back when you had a carburetor on it. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't quite start very easy now. No, we just have to push it. <laughs> I guess we could hook some propane up here and just kind of feed it in through the side with a little <laughs> valve. Wide open. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do that for a video getting it going and running it on propane with no carb. We'll, we'll see how well it works. <laughs> now it's not bad. I'm excited. I think it'll be fun to get going. We won't have too much to do on it, but we'll definitely film what we're doing with it. So, <laughs> Quick upgrades, no problem. Yeah. A lot of little just maintenance stuff, especially on the axles, getting those going, getting the drive lines out and them all redone. I don't, what's the deal with those? They just bad, they don't fit or? <clears throat> well, the rear drive line still has a carrier bearing, which I want to eliminate. And I want to put a CV joint on the front because the rear end's already pointed pretty much at the case. Um, and then the front drive line actually had a CV on it, which is not good for the angles that it has. So we kind of need to swap them around and make new ones. Gotcha. Because getting a lot of vibrations in the front drive line is and then probably imagine. You're wanting to switch out the rear springs because it's a little rough? Yeah. They're not really the, settling? The springs that are in there, they're hard. <laughs> it's pretty bad. You put a lot of weight in the back of that and it didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, we had about 500 pounds of run flats in the back and then we put about 2,000 pounds in the back of uh, scrap metal and I let it sit for Oh, a couple weeks. Yeah, it was a while. And you even season. drove around a little bit on that stuff. We went to the mountains with one trip with the run flats, and that was about 600 pounds, I think. They were around 200 pounds of tire. So I put, yeah, about 600 pounds of those. I'd run through our local trails, bumping around, and then as soon as we took them off, it just right back up. They're, uh, they're, so they're solid. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna put Chevy 63s under there. They're a lot longer, but they're a lot softer and they do add a little height in the rear, but they ride amazing. You're gonna have to get some new uh, wheels and tires. Oh yeah, I got some stashed. Oh, you do? Yeah, you have to Oh wait. geez, spoiler alert. You have to wait. Well, and then we do have to fix the front axle a little bit because whoever bought it did, uh, it has a factory 85 straight axle and they did add some, a truss on the axle and they put it on the bottom, which isn't a horrible thing, but you're supposed to- But you to do have a new one I see over there to put on the top. Yeah, I do. I got a new one. I think it's just a trail gear one. Probably add that and then just leave the one on the bottom for now. Yeah, it'll be a fully trussed. And then we got the diff armor too from trail gear that we're gonna use for the front. Well, so. this, this rate, they won't stay in there that long anyways when you go to one tons, right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> one tons would be sweet. Make sure to drop a comment down below if you want to see him put this on one tons and put a big old nasty LS in it. I know it's something that'd be awesome to do and you're not really too persuaded that way, but I don't know. it's a I hard toss up. Stick up my butt, I don't know. It'd be sweet. Yeah, so that is Corey's Toyota. It's going to be a good one. It'll be fun. I'm excited to get it all done and driving. We can take it up to the mountains and see how it does. So.
All right, so that's probably gonna be it for this one. Not really doing any work today. We're just kind of moving stuff around, getting stuff cleaned up, ready for paint on the K5. But we figured we'd film this and show you guys Corey's Toyota and see what you think on it and what engines that you would like to see go into it. I know Corey knows what he's hoping for, but everyone's probably gonna say the LS, so maybe I'll just have to LS swap it. But we'll send it, huh? Yeah. It'll be cheap, right? right. <laughs> famous famous last words there, so. Until we start jumping, it'll probably. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this one, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.